Welcome back guys, Angel of the Night 091 here coming at you with another tutorial video. Now this is something that everybody's been asking me about for the last uh, month or so for me to make. I'm going to do a video covering Citra with Wi-Fi. I'm also going to be covering how to get your game save put in and as well how to get your battle videos put into the emulator so that way you guys can record your content in HD. There's been so many people asking me about this that I've been helping each individual person uh, on their own but uh, there's so many people that keep coming to me to asking me how to do this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this here today now I have two different slides one which is the laptop which is what we're currently on here right now and then of course I also have my desktop so as you can see the two different backgrounds so overwatch is gonna be my laptop desktop is going to be halo so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the specifications for my laptop my laptop is a razor blade pro from 2013 so my specifications are an i7 4700 HQ processor. It's a quad core processor and I have 16 gigabytes of memory on this computer. So keep that in mind when you guys are trying to use Citra, the better the computer you have, the better quality, better speed that you're going to have. If you guys have something like a Intel Pentium or an i3, you're probably not gonna be able to run Citra very well. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we're just going to minimize this here. So we're actually going to go through and do the install. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do is go to uh, citra-mu.org. You guys really need to go to the site here and we are going to go to the download section. So we're going to hit download and we're going to hit download for Windows X64. If you guys happen to have 32-bit um, Windows, um, you might have to go to other platforms, maybe different different versions of Citra. Uh, it only works on 64-bit computers, but that shouldn't be a problem because most computers now are 64-bit. So what you want to do is you want to click the download option here and you see you get download for Citra setup windows. So we're going to open this up. All right, now this is actually going to go through and do the actual install. So I'm just going to go ahead here and click next and leave the default path to specify where the Citra files are going to be installed. Just leave the defaults. It's gonna be super easy to find them later. Just, just trust me. Uh, go next. And uh, we are going to hit yes to allow it to create. Now it's gonna give you two options here. One which is uh, Citra Canary and the other is Citra Nightly. You wanna select all, you want two versions of it. And we're gonna hit next. You have to hit I accept, next wants the start menu shortcuts just hit next and install and what that's going to do that's going to go through and download citra uh, with netplay and it's going to go through and uh, get it all set up with all your shortcuts and everything now i actually have like four different versions of citra on here so i'm just gonna close out of those ones there let's go next and finish all right so right now as it is we've got citra installed so the first thing you want to do is find your citra so go to start and you wanna open up Citra Canary. Citra Canary is the most important Citra to have on your system. Just hit uh, okay here. Now you have Citra open. You are also going to have a command prompt type window open here too. Don't worry about this window guys. You're gonna see a bunch of text scrolling. It's, it's not gonna harm your system in any way. Okay, so now that we have Citra open, we're gonna to go to file. We're gonna load file. And we're going to go to my C drive. And here's my ROM here. Now this is an edited ROM. So wherever you guys have your ROM, you wanna open that up. Now this is for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So well, we have to set our configuration. So if you go to emulation and configure, go to input, what is my circle pad? Okay, F is left, T and G, okay. There we go. And then A, and then A. Now, it's a little bit slow on this system. Now, I don't happen to hear any audio. weird oh that's why
Now, this is running incredibly slow on my system. So this i7 system, it's a couple generations old now, so it doesn't really run this emulator very well, but you can see the quality of the emulator is here. So that's the first thing you gotta do. All right, so you first you gotta open up, select the language, and now what you can do is you can close uh, Citra. Now we did that so that way it would create the proper files on your computer system, so that way it will load um, the folders for it. Now, one thing we need to do is we need to get the game saves from our Pokemon Ultra Moon game, and we need to get our battle videos. So first thing we need to do is we need to open up Checkpoint. Make sure you have your Pokemon um, Ultra Moon game in here. Now, if you guys are using Ultra Moon or Ultra Sun, um, this is gonna be a part here that's gonna be a little bit different. To get your game save uh, for Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, it's the exact same way. But if you are using Ultra Moon to do your battles, you will have to export the battle videos with Ultra Sun because it actually saves under their folder instead. I don't know why. So we'll just give it a second here. So checkpoint is all loaded up. We go to Pokemon Ultra Moon. We click backup. And we want to call it something that we're going to remember. So I'm going to put tutorial. Okay, and that's going to actually export my game save. So it's going to give me a file that's called main. All right, success. Now we also want to see if we can get the external data too. As you can see, Pokemon Ultra Moon is nowhere to be seen here. So we have to eject our Pokemon Moon, get our Pokemon Ultra Sun, so Pokemon Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, and we're gonna have to reload Checkpoint. Okay, so reopen Ultra, uh, reopen Checkpoint, sorry. We want to find Ultra Moon in this list. Okay, we'll just give it a second here. It's got to reload all the games that are on the uh, SD card that I have. Just give it a minute. All right, Ultra Sun, there we go. Now we want to hit X and we want to click on Ultra Sun. We want to hit backup, and again, we're going to call this tutorial. Okay, hit OK. Now, this part here will take a few moments to do, but you only have to do this once or twice to get the process down. So, as long as you have your uh, main file, which is your game save, that's the most important part. And then you'll be exporting your battle videos all the time if you're going to be recording them for YouTube. So this is a process you'll have to uh, have to learn. There it goes. So it's actually going through and copying every one of my battle videos right now. So we'll just give it a moment there to finish up. And this part does take a while. There it goes. And it's done. All right. So now what I got to do is I got to get these files from my SD card. Okay, so I'm going to click home. And I'm going to close out. Now, my method for getting my... Um, files off my SD card, you can use an SD card reader or you can go through the network. That's actually what I do. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna hide my top and my bottom screen. So it's actually under data management and you go to micro SD management. So I'm just turning that off for a sec. I'm going to open up a folder. I'm gonna browse to my network. All right, and I should see my Katsukitty 3DS show up here. There it is. 
hopefully I can connect to it, which is awesome. Go to micro SD. You want to go to your 3DS folder and you want to go to checkpoint. Now we have two different folders here, one which is for saves and one which is for external data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this here for now. We're gonna open up another finder, not a finder, sorry, a file explorer. Obviously I was helping someone with a Mac a couple days ago. Um, so we wanna go into local disk C, go to users. We're gonna to go to my username. Now there's a hidden folder here called app data. If you don't have app data, you gotta to go to view, options, view, and you need to, need to make sure that show hidden files folders and drives are selected. You would put the little dot here and click OK. And that's how you're going to get your app data folder. So we're going to go into app data. Now it's under roaming, I believe, under Citra. And then we go to SDMC, Nintendo 3DS, into the zero folder, zero folder. And here we have it, we have titles, and external data. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our game save in there. So let's go to titles, into 4000, and here we have a folder for B5100. So this is your ultra moon game here. So we go into data, 01, and here is a main file that we just created by opening the ROM earlier. You can delete this file, and on your SD card, go into saves, Go to Ultra Moon, and I have a, file, a folder here called Tutorial. We just take this main file and drop it in here. This is your game save. This is gonna take the game save from your SD card and put it to Citra. Now, let's go back to Title. As you can see here where my mouse is, I'm clicking Title. I'm going back, and we're going to External Data. 00, 1B5. Uh, sorry, 1B50, go to user, BT video, and as you can see, the folder is currently empty. On your SD card, go back to the checkpoint folder, go to external data, go to Pokemon Ultra Sun, because at this point, that was the only way that I could export my battle videos, because when you use the two copies, it somehow always defaults to Ultra Sun, which is fine. Go to tutorial, we'll give it a second, go to BT video, and you can see I have 10 battle videos here. We're gonna copy those over. All right, now we can close out of everything we have open here. All right, go to Citra, open up Citra again. Go to File, open up your ROM. And as you can see, it's actually just gonna load up the game here now. And there's my game save, we're gonna go in. All right, so you can see we're here, we're walking around. Now this is probably not the best system to do this tutorial with because it's so slow. But uh, if we go and open up our section for battle videos, I gotta remember the command here. If we go over to battle videos and we open it, and we can open the verse recorder And here we have it, we have all of our battle videos here, which is awesome. I'm just gonna hit play just to show you guys that it works. Now this computer is a slower system. It's not as fast as my other computer. Uh, obviously my other computer has some really wicked specs, but as you can see, we are able to load up the actual battle, battle video. Now there is an alternative version of um, Citra there is a speed version. So I'm gonna actually stop this. So you can see that it's loading up here and it's perfectly fine. Again, it's just really slow. If you have a slower computer, um, I apologize. This is probably not gonna work the best there for you. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna swap over to the desktop now. Uh, just to show you guys the Citra with Wi-Fi part. But I'm gonna show you the settings here to show you guys how to get it set up. So what you want to do is you want to go to emulation and configure. So this is how you're going to be able to connect up the emulator for Wi-Fi. You want to go over to web 
and you want to go to the sign up option you have to sign up and get a token first so you want to click sign up it takes you to the Citra community page you need to make an account okay once you make the account and log in you can go back to Citra put your username in here and click what is my token when you click that it'll take you to this page here where it says getting a token and you click here that is going to take you to a page that's going to give you a code you have to take that code and you have to put it into this location here and click verify now right away it won't activate but over time it will so i'm actually just going to close out of this we're going to close out of the citra okay hit yes and we're going to flip over to the desktop here all right so this is my desktop computer okay this is a custom built system i'm going to show you guys how this is going to work so Right off the bat, you can see that I'm using an Intel Core i7, 6850K, clocked at 3.6 gigahertz, 128 gigs of RAM, and then I also have two 1080 Seahawks in this build. So this system is a nutty computer. It very rarely slows down for anything. So I'm gonna open up Citra here. This is a Citra with Wi-Fi. Um, let's open this. I think this is the correct ROM. I've been doing a bunch of edits lately, so. Oh, wrong keyboard, derp. All right, and let's see if I can get the audio on here for you guys. I have the audio and everything turned way, way down, so that way it doesn't sound all funky. There we go. Oh. Okay, so as you can see, it's actually running a lot smoother. Okay, so this is usually the emulator that I record all my battle videos in. Now, I don't think I have any battle videos here, but let's just get into a quick battle just to show you guys that it's gonna work. All right, so there's Pan Jam. As you can see, the actual game is loading up perfectly fine. The better the system that you have, the better it will work, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys just how we can go to Wi-Fi now. So if you guys had done the other section for um, registering and creating a token, you can now go to multiplayer, go to browse public library. And as you can see, there's category here for Ultra Editions Pokemon. Just double click that. And then in your game, you wanna open up the Festival Plaza. All right, so here we are. Let's go to battle, go to link battle, single battle, and it should show you people that are online here right now. So Annie is obviously in Festival Plaza. We're gonna hit yes to send a battle request. Now you need to keep this window open here. If this window is not open, uh, you won't be connected to anything. I'm pretty sure we're not going to connect to Annie, but let's see if we can pair it up with a really nice guy. We're just going to give him a second here. Okay, there's the request, press yes. And we're gonna see if we can get connected up here. Now, anybody is technically able to use uh, Citra with Wi-Fi um, because it just runs off of private servers. It doesn't use Nintendo networks in order to do this. So as you can see, we're actually getting into a Wi-Fi battle here. Now, while we're doing that, um, I'm gonna get the speed edition of Citra onto my computer. Decide myself. And I'm not even sure what team I'm gonna bring, but let's see.
I think I'll just bring this one. This seems to be my favorite one so far. And... We're gonna load that up. So I'm gonna do a full battle in here just to show you guys that it's actually real. Um, at the same time, I'm gonna get the page up for Citrus Speed. So that way I can show you guys how this works. Now, Citra that I'm using here on my desktop is gonna run a lot smoother and everything because I have a better processor, I have more RAM, I've got better graphic cards. Everything is taken into account that the system is better for a reason. Um, so it's gonna run a lot smoother. Um, so let's just choose my pokes here. Now, if you guys have a slower computer, obviously this Citra Wi-Fi is probably not going to run the best there for you, as you guys can see on my laptop side of things. Um, but the emulator that I'm going to put on my laptop might run a bit smoother as well because of the fact that um, it's it's been reprogrammed and redesigned to be able to run on like lower-end hardware. Again, I don't know if it's going to run on a Pentium or an i3 or a lower AMD build, um, but it's very possible it may. Now, I know that someone's going to ask me, Corey, how did you get that t-shirt? How did you get the battle backgrounds? Um, I'm just going to say Magic Smoke and Mirrors, guys, because that is a whole other aspect of the Pokemon games that I can't really get into with you guys. It's a very long and lengthy process. Um, and it's going to be way too difficult to try to explain it, especially in this situation here. Um, I've, I've had to make this tutorial for Citra because it was too difficult for some people to follow. So I wanted to make sure that this tutorial is out there. But if you guys are going to try to do ROM hacks or ROM edits, um, you guys will have to figure that out on your own. Uh, so let's go for the fire punch here. Oh, he's setting up Stealth Rocks. I've never seen a lead Excadrill before, which is kind of interesting. Now, this person must have some decent internet because it's actually running pretty smooth right now. I'm only dropped down to about 90% speed and my frame rate is about 25. You're gonna see the frame rate fluctuate um, between probably 15 to 30. It'll never go up higher than that. Um, the speed can drop down on my system to as low as 60 but it seems to stay at roughly 80 to 100 percent so there's about 20 uh 20 percent difference here all right we just got extra extra drill out Oh, Garchomp. I feel like this is supposed to be a sand team, but they forgot the sand. I could have gone out to... Um, what's it called? My Snowflake. Can't think of what it's called right now. Cryogonal. I could have gone to Cryogonal. Okay, so we're going to try the Z-Celebrate here. See if we can get this Garchomp out. Luckily, we were able to scare him, so we can actually get a free... Uh, Z celebrate off. Which I don't think he realized the mistake he just did. <laughs> now, if you guys are using a laptop, of course, if you're going to play Citra Wi Fi. Uh, you may want to hardwire into your network if you have the capability, like if you have an Ethernet cable or an Ethernet port. 
uh, I would definitely highly recommend to plug into your network or into your router so that way you can get a faster network speed. Um, it'll basically provide you a better quality of communication between you and your opponent, more so than if you were just on your Wi-Fi. Um, way too many issues with Wi-Fi, guys. Wi-Fi is always an issue. All right, Tapu Bulu. I'm surprised that that um, Magnezone didn't have uh, Sturdy. I'm interested in understanding why. But Okay, there's the horn leech. Oh, it has magnet pull. Trying to trap those, uh, trying to trap those pokes in there. Um, it looks like this might be a scarfed um, Tapu Bulu. Wonder if I can get him with Toxicroak. He's gonna swap. Uh oh. We are in for some problems here. He's gonna go into his Garchomp now. Uh Garchomp, no. That's not cool. Do I get poisoned or something? Nope. I bet you he's gonna earthquake again. Um Gonna go to Cryogonal, I think. I'm pretty sure he's gonna I think he's gonna try to go for an EQ. Oh, he's going for the Z power. No! Oh my gosh, he's gonna go for the Dragonium. Oh man, that's brutal. Well, shoot. <laughs> I don't I don't care if I win or lose this. It's good for a tutorial. <laughs> now, the good thing is is that I have the other page up right now. To show you guys uh, where to get the Citrus Speed Edition. It is a different version than what I'm using here. You cannot do Wi-Fi with it. Um, however, it's actually built for the speed. So like if you have an older technology or anything like that, it is set up to speed up slightly. So it may make a difference in your recordings. But I'll, I'll show you that on the uh, laptop here in a minute. Oh, nice swap. Nice swap. He knew I was going to go for that Dazzling Gleam. Or a will o -Wisp, whichever one would come first, right? Maybe I can outspeed him and get the will o -Wisp. Oh, nope. At least we got the burn, though. That's a big thing, but I don't have a whole lot of pokes there that are going to be able to take him out. I, I could come in with Incineroar. Garchomp's going to be a big problem for me here.
So if you guys don't have a capture card for your 3DS, this is probably the best thing you could do if you wanted to get into the Wi-Fi battling scene with YouTube. Um, the only downside is that you can only battle other people that have Citra. Now, I do have a section on my Snowpoint Temple Discord server that I can show you where you guys can request Citra Wi-Fi battles. I'm hoping that once this goes up, there's going to be more people doing Citra battles. Uh, because it'd be kind of neat to get that kind of community going too. I know Retro in the Arcade is doing it. Um, but uh, there isn't a big community out there for Citra Wi-Fi yet. There's a lot of people in Citra right now. Um, but there isn't a big battling scene yet for it. So it might be interesting to get this going. Just just for those that, that want to get into YouTube but don't have the money for a capture card. Um, unfortunately, because... Um, the capture cards needed to record actual live battles. This is this is even better. This this helps you out get in against other people that can do like PK hex that can do so many other things. So many other things. Like with with this version, um, it just opens you up to being able to do so many different things. Like. It gets, it's going to give you the ability to record your battles for YouTube. It's going to get you the bat, the ability to do Let's Plays um, if you guys don't have a capture card. The only downside is that there's a little bit of glitches here and there when you play it. But for the most part, it runs pretty pretty decent. Um, the only reason why it's probably running really slow right now is because of my screen capture. And because of, um, uh, because of the guy's network. If, if his network isn't the best... Or if there's like things going on in the background, um, that can cause problems and conflict there too. Um, let's see here. I think I actually probably have stuff downloading right now. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But it, it's not perfect, but it works when you need it. That's the thing. Uh, I guess I'll have to gunk shot. I'm on my last Pokemon anyway. There's a play rough. There's my mouse. There we go. GG, bud. All right, so that is how you guys can do your battles. You can even save them just like you normally would if you were in your regular game, right? So it'll ask me if I want to save it to my uh, battle videos. Yes. All right, so as long as you guys save your battle videos and put your game save in the proper place, it'll run perfectly fine. Let me just back out of here for a minute. I'll show you guys here again. Uh, so battle videos. Let's take a look. So right now my speed is 100%. The game is 30 frames per second. Uh, so... If I load this up, should play it. As you can hear, there are some slight issues with the audio, but the playback is running pretty decent. So it's it's anywhere between 80 to 100% uh, for the actual quality of the battle. Now. If you guys know Sony Vegas or Adobe um, Premiere Pro, uh, you should be able to speed up those parts to slow down. Okay, so that, that does load. Uh, let's back out of here. We're actually gonna close out of Citra because that is all fun and dandy. Let's go back over to the laptop, guys. I'm gonna show you guys again onto the laptop where we're at. Uh, so this is if, um, let's say, for example, you want to do your battles with Citra on um, Wi-Fi, but then it's too slow to record. This next step is going to help you guys out. This is a website for the different uh, emulators that uh, the Pokemon games can do. So as you guys can see, there's a ton of them. There's things for Android, things for Java. There's a whole bunch of them here. But the one thing that we're really going to be using is this third one, Citra Speed V7. So we're actually going to click that link here. Boom. All right, so that's going to download. 
Okay, we're gonna open it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this onto my C drive because I have so many other things in so many other places. Uh, so let's go here, Citra Pokemon Speed. And that's gonna create a folder right here. So it's mu.pokemoner.com. I will have a link in the uh, description below. Let's close out of this. So we're gonna open up Citra Pokemon Speed. Open up Citra QT, okay, as you can see. Just, it, it's pretty well the same, just like the other ones, but it's gonna run a little differently. Um, the big thing here is that if we go in, it has its own users folder. So what we actually need to do is we actually need to get the users folder over to it. So instead of going to, let's see here, I'm gonna show you guys. So instead, instead of earlier where we went to C, users, my name, app data, roaming, Citra, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy the Nintendo 3DS folder. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it in here and replace this one. Because what's gonna happen is that's gonna put my proper um, battle videos and my game save into the same place. So I'm just gonna open up my ROM, so load uh, this PC, C drive, my ROM. Now this one is actually laid out just a little differently. So if we go to emulation and cheats, not emulation cheats, sorry. Emulation and configure, graphics, we're gonna go to the default. There we go. As you guys can see, it's actually running a bit different here. It's actually running very smooth. We are getting about 96% and 30 frames per second. So if we actually go in, we should be able to run around now. Yep. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So that is the Citrus Speed Edition. Now, if we actually open up the battle video here, as you can see, it's running very smooth. So my recommendation would be to do your battles and put them into Citrus Speed. Go to battle video. And these are the battle videos that we had from exporting on our 3DS earlier. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you just want to record the top screen, we can go to emulation, configure, graphics. Now we're running at native speed right now. We can actually change that. I'm gonna change that up to times three. And I'm gonna put a large screen. So you guys can see that here. We're gonna click and click. And there we have it. So the more higher quality the actual emulator is running at, it will affect the battle video differently. So that's how you guys can record your battle videos using Citra. All right guys, so the Citra speed again, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys again where to put those files. We're gonna close this, hit yes. What you wanna do is that instead of going to C, users, your name, app data, whoop, that's the wrong folder, um, C drive. So what you wanna do is put your game save and your battle videos into these folders here. So you wanna go to Citra Pokemon Speed, go to Users, SDMC, Nintendo 3DS. You wanna to go to 0000, zero, zero, zero Title, 4000, and 5100 is Ultra Moon. Go to Data, 001. And there is your game save, guys. That's where you guys want to put your game save uh, for your Pokemon uh, Ultra Moon. If you go back, 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 and back, your battle videos go under external data, zero. You want to go to 1B50, users, BT video, and put your um, battle videos in here. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the tutorial here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. Be sure to put your comments in the comment section below. And as always, hope you guys had a fantastic day there today, and I hope you all take care. Peace out.